Hey, so in our last video, we finished our blog, sort of. You see, there's something not quite right about it. So we got it working where we can do howdy, hit submit, boom, and it comes back. And we have our blog post right here. But what happens if we restart our server? You may have already noticed it, but if I do stop the server, node app.js, run it, and refresh our page, all of our beautiful blog posts are gone. It's really a shame. Let's try that again. Hi, hi, submit. It's there. Refresh the server. It's not there anymore. It's lost forever. So what we need to do is save it. Now, a popular way to save things would be to use a database, uh, but that's a little complicated right now for this video. So I'm going to stick with just a regular text file. I'm going to save our blog posts on the server into a text file. And then when you restart the server, I'm going to have it read from the file. So let's do that by going into our API.js. And what I did before this video started was actually Google how in Node to save into a file and then read from a file. Because I can't learn all this in my head. A lot of my learning comes from Google. So, like I said, the first part would be to, as I see here, to require the FS module. Um, Node has several built-in modules. One of them is a file system, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in the file that I'm going to use it in which would be api.js. So I'll put it at the, at the top. And then um, whenever we get a new blog post, we're basically, basically gonna save it to a file. Uh, just in case the server goes down, we want that to be saved. So I'm gonna copy that code. And right after we push that um, blog post to our blog post array, I'm gonna save it, save the entire array. So it's all backed up. So let's say var file equals fs.createWriteStream and I'm going to call it blogposts.txt. If there's an error, um, I'll just do, 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 do console.log error. Um, hopefully there's no error. I don't expect that to be one. And then let's see array. Our array's name is blog post. So I'm going to copy that blog posts dot for each and then inside the for each parentheses we have a function so let me make that a little bit more clear here this is just the way this works you gotta roll with it um, so inside the parameter for for each we have a function and inside that function we have one parameter so let's call it the post so we're gonna loop through each post in our blog post array and write it to the file, follow with a new line. So each line in the file will be a blog post. And I can do that by simply doing da, 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 file.write the post plus slash n for new line. And that should be it. That will end the file right there. Okay. So let's give this a shot. Let's refresh our server. Let's go to our website, refresh there, no blog posts. Howdy, howdy, here's our first post. Submit, okay. Looks like there's no errors on the server. And as you can see here in our text editor, we have a new file popping up on the left. Let's click on that. There we go, howdy, howdy. Let's go back to our webpage. Howdy, howdy two, submit, okay. Howdy, howdy three, submit, okay. And there we go. We have our file saving our blog posts. Um, let's see what happens when we refresh the server. They're still gone. So we can't just write it to the file. We have to read it from the file so that when we restart, it'll still be there. So let's do that. Let's go back to our API. Actually, we want this to read from the file when we start our application basically when we start our server. So as you can see at the bottom of our main app.js, we see http.createServer.listen, and then a function that gets called, assuming everything goes well. I don't know if you noticed, but whenever I restart the server, 
It says express server listing on port 3000. That's something that's that we wrote. Um, actually, it's part of the software that we downloaded, uh, the code that was already written. But they wrote, whenever the function is successfully started, to print that to the console. So what we're going to do after that is printed to the console, we're going to say console.log reading in the old blog posts, dot, 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 and parenthesis. And after that, we're actually going to read it in. So let's go back to that code for reading. I'm going to copy it from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new function in my API.js. I'm going to say exports dot read in blog posts equals function. And it's going to be kind of like an initializer function. So when the server starts, I'm going to call this function and it's going to, as you can see, read in all of our blog posts. We already include the file system. We don't need that. Uh, var array equals read file sync. So instead of saying var array equals read file sync, I'm just going to say blog posts equals read file sync. I don't need this output here. Um, blog posts equals fs dot read file sync. This is all built in functions here. And then we change the file name to blog posts because that's what we called it. Dot to string dot split. And it's going to split it by new line. So remember how back over here when we write to the file we put a new line character which means each blog post is on a different line and then when we read it in we're gonna split it by new line so really we're reading in a chunk of text and we just say everywhere where there's a new line that's a different blog post so we'll get an array with three different things here when we read that in so let's go back to our main app.js then let's say da -da 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 -da. API dot, what do we call it? Read in blog posts, copy and paste. Save that. Let's go back to our web page. Let's go back to our server. Nothing here yet. Okay, let's cancel our server. Let's start it back up. Reading in the old blog posts. You know what we should do actually, make it a little more clear, let's say console.log uh, blog posts are loaded exclamation point so that way we know for sure that there are no errors and there we go reading an old blog post blog posts are loaded all right let's try adding some blog posts now Dave has a hat in another life not now okay it's saved oh and there we go. Hold on a second. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Something wasn't right there because I didn't see these posts before I made this post. Let's try that again. Node.js. Refresh. Okay, now it's working. Don't know what happened there. Maybe the browser was caching, but basically you can see it worked. I'm going to stop my server. I'm going to restart my server. I'm going to reload my page and boom. It still has those blog posts. And as you can see, in blog post.txt, it's there. Hmm. Basically, we're saving a file and we're reading it. All in Node, in JavaScript, all JavaScript. Wonderful stuff. Thanks for watching.